I had to put the fail check on the floor, because I don't want to fail this one. Hello guys, and welcome to episode 65 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week, I'm probably going to do a little bit of a shorter video, but it's going to have the 10 minutes in it, of course. But if you are watching this as a premiere, make sure that you stick around, because shortly after this premiere, I'll premiere another video that some of you have been waiting for for a very long time. It's the reveal of the 140 blocks that people took put together in the monthly challenge all the way back in January. And it's the city blocks that I've assembled finally into a city and we fly through that city and give each and every block a little bit of love there. So make sure that you stick around and watch that video. And if you're watching this in the future, you can check out the play history of this channel and make sure that you catch that video. Last week, someone said to model a windmill. So let's make a windmill and let's get grinding. Ready, steady, go. Rough. Tab into edit mode. Let's uh, hold the control key, snap that one up there. And I'm gonna do loop cut, control R for another loop cut and Select the top and the bottom, and we'll use this uh, loop tools again. Circle, like that one. A, select everything, scale, shift Z. Don't scale on the Z yet. And then, might be the wrong scale anyway, but I can fix that later on. Go up a little bit. E to extrude, I'm gonna put a decking there. E to extrude, scale that one down a bit. You know the drill, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. There we go. That's the main shape of our windmill. The bottom here is going to be stone. Like, so I'll put a gray one here. And the top one's going to be like a painted limestone. Here, we'll do a wood decking that sticks out. I saw a picture of this. So I'm going to make something a bit similar. So let's put A, select everything, scale zero on the UV side here. Go back, get that brown color. And I'll extend a little bit further here because I'm going to put a little in rail here, so shift D to duplicate that one. Maybe like this, E to extrude. And then uh, probably gonna do like a manual thing here. So let's take that face, shift D to duplicate it. And then I'm actually gonna do the circle modify on that one just to get it square. <laughs> a bit uh, contradictive, but. And then I'll do a manual process here. I'll extrude it first. I'll make like little post here. It doesn't have to be exact as you might notice. E to extrude. Make sure I've got no inverted normals. And L scale shift Z. Let's just make little posts here. Scale Z. And again, this was built back in the day, so I'm not gonna be too fussed about uh, the how precise this is gonna be. I'm just doing shift D, R to rotate. Shift D, R to rotate. And we'll wing it a little bit on this windmill. Shift D, R to rotate. Shift D. Or to rotate. I'm gonna get loads of comments now that I should use the array modifier. <laughs> Tend not to use that one when I'm gonna do stuff in the same mesh. And sometimes I don't really want it to be exactly that precise since this is an old, old build. Um, but the array modifier is quite useful if you're gonna do repetitive stuff. But it might be difficult to get the array to modify it according to this uh, whatever octagon shape or whatever it is. Uh, I think that's it. So, old set. There we go. There's the railing. So, 722. Should put the top here. I'm going to make this a bit darker. Let's move that one up. Select the top faces here. Control plus. Make that one maybe like a black. I'm going to put the blades on the windmill here. So, Shift D to duplicate that face. Actually, I'm not going to do that because I want it to be facing in the right direction. So, let's go front view. Here I'll do shift A and add a plane. Okay, I need to do shift S first, cursor to select it. Then shift A, add a plane, rotate X 90, S to scale this one down, A scale zero. Let's make wood shapes, wood colored. And there's gonna be the axle in the middle. E to extrude that on and E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. And here I'm just gonna do one of the blade first, I think. So shift D, scale that one down. And we'll do the bottom one first. So I'll do E to extrude. And this one turned out to be inverted. So Alt N, recalculate outside. And should we do, that's quite thick actually. So let's do L to select the link, scale, shift Z, make it a lot thinner. And we should also control R here. Maybe we'll do uh, like these shaped wings here. Should use some more surface area here. 
So 5.48 E to extrude. Maybe like this. I should do. Someone's going to get their head chopped off there, I think. And then uh, control. Should we do control R to loop cut? Control R to loop cut. We'll do a whole bunch of these. C to circle select. Can I get the backside? C to circle select. Yeah. And then I to inset. I to inset again. Alt E, extrude long face normals. And this is not, this is actually a functional one. So I'm going to dress this with some fabric. Not like all those broken ones that you see nowadays. Should we do some weird twists? I don't think they actually twisted these blades, but let's, since we can with proportional O, rotate Z. We'll do like a little twist to them. I'm sure they'll spin better in the in the air. Some mad work, w mad woodwork there. And now I should do pro spin these around. So Shift S cursor to selected, L to select the linked, Shift D to duplicate it, and then period, and then spin around the 3D cursor, rotate X 90. Okay, that's not it. See, it's around the Y axis rotate y 90 and then shift r okay shift d rotate y 90 shift d rotate y 90 i should do and we've got four minutes 18 seconds to go should we do an, an and maybe some windows up here control r and now we shouldn't scale around that now we should go back to medium point here scale let's do alt select there i to inset and to scale these windows, I can do comma and do normal and then scale on the X axis. Okay, okay, and I need to go to individual, period, individual, scale, X, no, Z, no. Okay, scale on the Y axis, there we go. Then it scales on all the normals. Alt D, extrude long face normals, and G, make dark color windows. We should make the entrance here to the side, I to inset. Now we can do scale and Y again. Bring this one down. It's going to be the entrance to our windmill e to extrude that on g black we'll do a door here as well i to inset uh, scale on the y-axis and e to extrude this one can be wood and here we can put windows control control r loop cut let's do control select to here and control select to here and that should be i to inset scale y and remember i've got the normals now this is why it scales on the y-axis of all the normals scale x normals no y there we go g or oh, alt e extra long face normals a little windows here should we put some trimming here i've got two minutes 44 not sure what to do now the blades should be bigger i think let's do let's modify this a little bit so I'll go L to select the linked. No, I won't actually. I'll do select the top here. The spin cycle on the washing machine has uh, decided to finish the job here. I'll we'll do scale Z. That's not going to work. What should we do? We should move this up instead then. Well, let's go for plan B. Let's put this one higher. Then we can make, make it bigger. So comma. Go back to global, period, medium point, bring it up to here instead. Now we can scale it up. Just looked a bit too tiny before. Can do it even bigger. Scale. Not that big though. Someone's gonna get serious uh, problems if they walk around here when this is spinning. That's for sure. Maybe a different trim color here. I to inset. I to inset again to get the individual there off. Alt E, extra long face normals. It could be a, like a wood thing going up on the top here. Dark. And we've got 1 minute 24. Let's put it on a little hill. So Shift D, duplicate it. We'll bar those faces. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale. L to select the linked G, make it green proportional and then move it up to there again and now with proportional I'm just gonna change the tail a little bit put it on a hill here where the wind blows a little bit more 
It's always good to have a windmill where it blows, probably. So. I'm not going to go so much with the detail. I just wanted something around it. 37 seconds to go. Whoa, I put it uh, way too high. Rotate. Rolling hills. 24 seconds to spare. I'm not even going to go... Uh, you know, should I put something here? Maybe at the top. E to extrude. Control plus. I've got 12 seconds. I've got no idea what to spend it on. Don't know what this would be. Oh, scale. Down. There we go. Windmill. And I remember to switch it off this time. Nearly. Takes me still a long time. A little quick bonus material. Maybe we'll animate this as well. I'll just do... Uh, I'll, then I'll have to separate this to a separate object. So I'll pick this one. L to select the link. L, L, L. P. Let's separate that into a new selection. Or separate the selection into a new object. Cube.001. We're not going to rename these to windmill. That would be too easy. Now I'm going to do Shift S. Cursor to select it here. Right click. And then I'll do Set Origin. And I'll set it to the 3D cursor here. Now when we spin this along the y-axis it's going to rotate around the y-axis here so we'll go to animation click on action editor here click new and do windmill spin and go to frame number one press record i to inset no not to inset to insert uh location and rotation keyframe here Maybe we'll just do like a 360 spin. So on three thir frame 36 here, let's try rotate. And which axis is it? Uh, it's along the Y axis. Rotate Y 360. And there we go. We've got the spin going. Then we have to limit it. And we don't want to repeat uh, the same rotation here on the two frames. So I'm going to end the animation here on frame 35. And then we spin. And see that it uh, interpolates, so it stops and starts smooth. So you wouldn't really want to have a windmill that acts like this. You've got some serious, uh, maybe bearing issues there. Or someone's stuck in the grinding mechanism inside. And the reason why it's doing this is because we need to... We could probably do a right click here and do interpolate mode. And change this one to linear. And now when we spin it, it doesn't do that weird motion so maybe that's an issue that you could be running into sometimes if your animations look a bit uh, weird when they loop it could be that it needs linear interpolation so a quick little video this week but if you're watching the premiere like i said make sure you stick around to the next premiere and we'll watch this city together and if you're watching this in the future make sure that you check out the channel history and check out the Invencia city video it's awesome see you soon again bye for now